folks we're back to finish up the uh, back side of the artillery shell firework um, the end of that last video after I cut it off I put some more blues and blacks in here uh, on that sleeve looks like uh, we'll probably put some more blue on this anyway uh, if you can see the rest of the shirt here uh, here's our yellow and the oranges uh, kind of bled down into here. That's fine. I kind of like those uh, vivid colors like that. Um, here are the little uh, tracers that go up. Looks like we got some good saturation on that black. Um, we're going to do something that uh, you probably wouldn't do otherwise. But this really gets that good saturation. We're going to cut a couple of these bands. Using the hemostats to raise the rubber band up off the shirt so I don't accidentally cut the shirt. And under tension it's going to want to flick. If there's any dye left in there. Well, let's see, I don't know if you guys can see this. Yes you can. So you can see there's some color in there. Uh, it might look white to you. It looks like there's actually some yellow. Let's cut this band and see what's in here. Really all I'm doing now is checking for saturation. If I find some white space in there, I might throw some other color in there just to fill some of that in. Some of that in. There's some white space right there. So even though I've opened this up, I can close it right back again if I want to just put the die on top and I'll have it sink down in. This is that shorter area, and I'm just checking for some saturation there. I might not actually put much dye on this part, because um, you can get, if you get some good saturation on those shallow folds, you really don't have to reapply. You might put some black or some other highlight color if you want to. It's up to you. Anyway, that's what I'm doing. That's how I get a lot of that uh, full saturation. I cheat, cut the bands off to see what's junky scissors. These are Westcott, but I use them just for this. Kind of like what's going on here. You can't really see it from your vantage point, but it looks like some outer space uh, celestial supernova. Champagne Supernova. I might actually leave that because there's a hint of yellow that you probably can't see. But with that turquoise there, I think I'm going to leave that part as is. And there's good saturation throughout this. We did a good job. Um, leaving those bands somewhat loose really helps. Can you guys see that? Good, uh, pretty colors, pretty colors. I am going to cut some of these here, going down the sleeve. I gotta get another pair of scissors. Three M brand, Scotch brand scissors. See how they hold up to the competition. Oh. We uh, get a lot of products from 3M. I work at 3M here in Columbia, Missouri. Make a lot of medical stuff, including Littman stethoscopes. Any healthcare providers out there? 
open that up. Like that green. Dudes, I don't know if I'm gonna touch this at all. I do not know. There's a lot of white down here. I'm not gonna touch this in here. It looks uh, pretty, pretty good. So normally what I would do is uh, if I find some white space, I would fill some of that in with another color. Um, that looks like that dark navy right there. Um, if you look on the color wheel, something opposite that would be orange. Coming out of all this orange would really make those white spaces pop, especially against that blue background. But I'm going to leave that as is. I'm going to leave that. Sorry, folks. I'm going to leave that one just as it is. I am going to put some more color down here. And I want it to be dark down in there. So I'm going to put some of that deep navy. You know what? I just changed my mind. I'm going with blue violet. It's still a dark color, but it has that purple tint to it. And with all the other space effects going on out there. Oh, there's the dog wanting in. I've been outside looking for meteors and I've only seen about three in the last uh, two hours. Kind of a bummer. I'm gonna let the dog in. Sorry about that. Everybody still with me? Turn the pump on. I've got it turned up pretty high because I want to let it run down into that crevice. crevice down the bottom here and it'll run back and create some cool effects uh, up the sleeve and besides all that turquoisey blue I use a lot of blues a lot of uh, I believe I've got 24 shades of blue right now. I've got 82 colors total. An ongoing list that I keep. Colors I want to try. Replacement colors. I've got my favorites. Deep Lime from Customs is the bomb. There's a little bit back here see that there's a little bit back here that uh, needs a little color so I think I'm going to put some turquoise out there on that tail you know what how about some robin egg blue since it's up on top anyway I use some of this up here on the sleeve while you guys weren't watching when it was on the other side I'm going to 
time we look at it. Oh, we're only at 10 minutes. This is going to be quick. Especially since I don't have to add all that dye to... I mean, I very easily could, but I really like the effects in there. It's got some spaciness looking to it. tension on these guys. Uh, if you remember we put some turquoise in through here. I wanted to see what that turned out like. Can you guys see that? I'm going to have to get a remote so we can zoom in. I can zoom you in. Because that Oh, I love that green. And there's that dark navy, and it's got a halo of uh, it's got a halo of what other blue was it? it wasn't the sapphire? It must have been the sapphire. It's really pretty in there, guys. So I'm not going to touch that at all. Mm -mm -mm. This is going to be a pretty shirt. A 2X. And guess what? It does not have an owner as we speak. I was just wanting to show there were a couple of people asking about this fold. So I thought I'd show it. Let's finish this up so everybody can go to bed. I'm doing here is sometimes um, the color that might bleed through and drain because it was on an incline uh, might uh, bleed onto the other side but sometimes that's really shallow and using this pump you would be able to do it with syringes probably but I can so I, I see a little bit of white space here where that dye was basically the muck coming off 